But Camrose affixed to one man. Three goals in his last three matches, and you can't argue with that sort of form. We'll have the action on EA TV. Hello and welcome wherever you're watching. This is Goodison Park. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Everton versus Norwich City. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And they kick off here. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Seamus Coleman starts with Luca Digne in the fullback positions. Alan starts alongside Abdoulaye Doucoure in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. And space here on the flank. Les Malou. An alert piece of defending. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, as you can see, his form in front of goal has been superb. He just has that... Townsend! Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. Well, for Everton, they had a tough fixture last time out and could only manage a draw against Aston Villa. What do you expect this time, Stuart? Well, in a tight game, the draw wasn't necessarily a bad result. Today, I think, will be close between two evenly matched teams and I'm expecting a similar result. Corner kick played in. Well, they couldn't get the header on the target, but robust defending. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Temo Puki. The cross is on. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. And over it comes, and the danger's still on. Well, that's the kind of play you want from your defender. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here, and a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. So Everton restart the game. Well aware that the pressure has been applied. How will they respond? Look at Dinia. was a move of great promise they could easily have been in Les Melou Todd Cantwell he's beaten his man well that's gone out and it is going to be a goal kick Well, a bad pass it was. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Oh, really close, just over the top.
Calvert Lewin. And it's a quality pass. And a goal! Real excitement here, the equaliser. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So back underway. They've levelled it at 1-1 here. Difficult to stop him. But they dealt with the threat first. Well, the stats don't lie. Everton have had a lot of possession. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. Beautifully disguised ball. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Getting in there to take it away. Well, he's outplayed and outfought him. Dangerous looking attack. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Alan and a poor ball a chance then for the respective managers to address their charges it is half time here to the second half then and these two sides are locked together just can't really choose between them at the moment Calvert-Lewin and the ball with Roop Todd Cantwell well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Everton facing Manchester United. Well shown inside. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. But then the one that fails to hit its target. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? All hands on deck. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer, and you have to say it was on the cards. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Aaron's Cantwell promising possession this wanted to keep it but couldn't and don't forget we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV it's Norwich City facing Burnley well the perfect tackle really and now a throw in Townsend, crossing opportunity, cleared away comprehensively. Calvert Lewin, well, they might be onto something, and he's fired it against the post. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Well, he certainly caused all of that. But was never going to trouble the keeper in the end. Goal kick it is. They will now make use of the substitutes bench.
into the final 20 minutes. Rashica. Lukas Rup. Oh, a lovely ball. Well, he didn't really trouble the keeper. To be fair, the angle was tight. Well, I'm not sure that was the right option. It was always going to be difficult to score from there. And the minutes are ticking away as Everton try to see this out. Well, for much of this match, they've controlled the tempo of the game and deserved their lead. But this is going to be a frantic finale. They just need to defend their box really well here. And the decision offside here. Lukas Rup. Dangerous looking attack. Still could be dangerous. Well, they can bring it out now. It's a weighted pass. Takes it on. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. And they will make the change now. Number seven, Lucas Rook, to be replaced by number 23, Kelly McLean. Who can they pick out? It's not testing the keeper at all with that cross. Sounds in. No possibilities inside the box. And a struggle to get it away properly. Well, threat averted. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. And crossed in the direction of the back post. Oh, what a fantastic save. Well, that's a match winning save there. Not long left now. Now the delivery. Not did his job defensively. And there we have it. The final whistle. A frustrating day for Norwich City and their supporters. What did you make of this? Well, we touched on it before the game. They've got too many players who run faster going forward than they do when they're running back towards their own goal. And that's been the problem again today. Their recovery runs are far too slow.